Hi, Tom Cole for the Steve Taylor Community Connection, and certainly an honor and privilege to be here with you, Mr. Bell. No, um, you know, it's, it's really a thrill for us to have you in the dealership. Thanks for uh, having me. Yeah, yeah, it's totally our honor, and uh, we just talked to your son, the champ. And, That's right. But what I, what I want to get to is, uh, you know, the family values, because I've known your family okay. for a long time, okay. way back when... When the when the prince was a little guy, and little you guy. were and you were working him, and he's a little guy. Yeah. And I remember you used to come around and you used to say, "Hey, keep an eye on him." <laughs> I, I remember I was in a couple of meetings where you were saying, "Hey, keep an eye on him because he's special." Yeah. And what what made you think that Prince was so special, even as a little a little, little dude? Guy. Yeah. But what like I say, uh, all the little guys around my house, they all come up under my little boxing system where mm -hmm. I sit around and play with them. And I played with him a little bit, and he just kept on around. So she said, well, the mother said, y'all going to the gym, then y'all might as well be babysitters, because he got to go, too. <laughs> he's a little guy. Yeah, yeah, come on. So he tagged along with the other right. guys. Yeah. So, so he got to have to tag along, and he around the gym everywhere. He gets yeah. in there and just go crazy. I'm training fighters. His older brother was fighting for he was and his uncle. So I'm training him, and we doing our thing. And uh, he just slowly just kept coming. Kept coming, shoot, by the time he was four, five, six years old, he had it. But he couldn't fight yet. He had to yeah, wait till he was eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I remember when he was a little guy, but, yeah. you know, that's so interesting to me, Mr. Bell, because yeah. I had a lot of brothers, and my mom used to always tell me, if you're going to play football or basketball, yeah. you're taking that's right. the little guy, that's right? right? I always had to take yeah. the I'm going, I don't want to drink <laughs> yeah. But he got in the games uh -huh. with the older guys. Okay. And he became the best athlete in the family because – because he had to play up all, all the time. Them, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and somehow the bottom of the crop comes to be yeah, the top of the crop. Because they, yeah, they get yeah. that. They see that older competition. Yeah. And you know what? It doesn't phase them. You know, they're not afraid of it. Right. You know? They pick it up. They pick it up and they come out to be the special one. Yeah. We all did our thing. I fought pro amateur. Yeah. My next son, he fought amateur. The next uncle fought amateur. But Albert was able to go through way further than we went. My first year out. I hadn't seen it done before. He won four big tournaments. Right. He won the JOs. He won the Junior Olympics. He won the Silver Gloves. He won the Gold Gloves all within the same year. Is that something in here, Mr. Bell, that, I, I, that, I, I, that, that he I, has in here? I don't know what it was, but I know he beat everybody up. <laughs> <laughs> I said. But he, he has that want to, to yeah. when, you know, when the bell rings. Oh, you ready to go? Yeah, some guys. Yeah. You know, they look great in the gym shorts, uh -huh. and they're pounding the bag. Yeah. They're doing all the stuff, you know. No. But when the bell rings. No, he has some special stuff. Yeah, that's He what has I, some special that's stuff. That's what I was so getting to. I said, well, this might be a fluke. <laughs> you did? I said, it might be a fluke. Yeah. So, next year came. Be dang if he didn't do the same thing all over again. Right. I said, I think we own something. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. as Ali said, it, it, it ain't bragging if you can do it, yeah, right? Yeah, I think we own something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think he's going to just go in and feel yeah. right on out and keep. He stayed with it. And each year he got bigger and we got better and the prizes got bigger and they got better. Yeah. And each year, it hasn't been a year where it ain't been up another level. You know, now you he know. took me from a little bitty medal at the Ohio State Fair. Yeah. To the MGM Grand in right. Las Vegas, Nevada. Did you kind of think, hey, how'd we get here? Ooh, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm talking about big. That's big. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah it was awesome. <laughs> but, you know, I think, Mr. Bell, part of that process for you guys is you have such a great family. Mm -hmm. We just talked about it earlier. Mm -hmm. Prince talked about it earlier. But your family values, I think values carry you a long way. Mm -hmm. You know, Steve and his dad, his family, right. they have right. values. You and, and your son yeah, and your right. family right. have that. Those core values, core values, what have they meant to you to be successful? They um, The core values of as it's working, it's been okay. It's been a blessing. I had them because I had an older guy that trained in me. Yeah. And he instilled a lot of old quality boxing values in me. Yep. And I'm able to instill them into my fighters, but I got them from him. Old so school stuff? Old school stuff. And it still works for me today. Yeah. That old school stuff because I'd have been lost had I not had him, which is my first yeah. trainer. Yeah. He introduced me to boxing. But you know, the thing I noticed about yeah. you, Mr. Bell, and your, and your incredible son is, you know, you guys are undefeated. You know, all the, the things that come with that and all the notoriety. 
you two treat people well. Yeah. You, yeah, you, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know, and I see people sometimes that are successful yeah. and they don't have time for anybody, you know, yeah. but themselves. Yeah. You treat people well. Your son treats people well. And I think that it says a lot about your success. It do. But like I say, in the circle we in, it's unbelievable how a guy can be from A to Z, a world champion just a no champion. Right. The attitude is just totally different with boxing. I can go up to Sugar Ray Leonard, I could go up to Mike Tyson, I could yeah. go, and they let you just come right up and sign autographs. They're just a different person. It's not all that political jazz where sure. you got security guards and yeah, yeah. It's a humble sport. They're, they're regular folks. They're regular folks, and this sport is a humble sport. It sport. is. So and if you're not humble. Folks. It will humble you pretty quick. It will humble you, right. <laughs> so we regular folks. Yeah. And we're used to being around big guys and big people all our life. We've yeah. been around world champions yeah. and stuff. So it's, it's, it's no biggie to us. So we don't portray ourselves to be something bigger or something else than yeah. what we are. And we're thankful to the creator for just blessing us to get up. Well, you know, well yeah. we're thankful, Mr. Yeah. Bell, for who you are and who your yeah, son you is and what you're doing in our community. And I'm going to hand this off to... My uh, superstar partner, Terry Crosby. Now, don't let him pop up on you. You know, you know what, Mr. Bell? He thinks he's a boxer, Mr. Bell. He's, he's a basketball, basketball player. player. So don't let him pop up on you. And if you have to do something, if you have to throw a jab in him, just to settle him down. I got that knowledge. He's okay. a basketball right. player. Okay, okay. All right, so I'll bring in Terry. Thanks, yeah. Mr. Bell. Did you bring him with the ball? <laughs> Mr. Bell, so so really, really nice to have you here today. Pleasure all mine, Mr. Uh, Crosby. Pleasure all mine. The Taylor Automotive family is, is so pleased to be able to sit down and spend some time with yourself and your son, Prince Albert, mm -hmm. the champion, the 419 champion. How does that make you feel as a father? You have a son that is a world champion. It's, so, it's getting something to get used to. <laughs> ain't nothing that I've been used to. It's something to get used to. Because <laughs> we're going to different places now. And, hey, how did it happen? It happened to me. How did it happen? Hey, chill out. What the heck? So it's something to get used to. And I'm trying to get used to it. Because everywhere we go, they hitting us like that. But right. it's kind of new to me. Well, you know what? You really amaze me yeah, by I'm saying good. that because I follow you and your son, all your fights, your training. Okay. I watch it on social media. Right. And each and every time I know where your son gets his humble nature from mm -hmm. okay. because you, as his father, yeah. It's pretty much the same. Right. I see right. that in you, right. Mr. Bell, mm -hmm. that humbleness. Yeah. So has that tra kind of transferred to... I would to hope that it has. Right. I would hope that it has. Everything I got that I got, I hope that it transferred, but all of right. it don't transfer from father to son. But if the son just get a little bit of that, we okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, genetics, <laughs> genetics Ooh. are very important. We must not uh, fail to mention that you had a great career yourself right. as I a did. boxer. I did, I did, Coming I did. up, tell us a little bit about your own experience. Well, like I said, I started at 12 years old, 1973. I got a chance to fight in my first Golden Gloves, 1973, and I ended up winning it. Okay. So that's how far back I am. So I never really got out the sport. Right. Um, I still able to do what I do now because right. I never really let it go. If you let something go, then it kind of goes away. Right. But if you hold on to something, you keep doing it, you'll find that it stays with you. Right. And all through the years, I've been Throwing some type of punch some way, somehow. I did an amateur thing all the way until I went into the pros. Went into the pros, I tested with a couple fights. Then by that time, my son and them is ready to fight now, so the time that I had is not my time no more. Here's another son that was over him, it was his time. So I had to throw my career to the side and get on down with him and then the uncle and then Albert and then Albert's friends and then they friends and they friends. So it's been forever. And you raised, uh, correct me if I'm, I'm mistaken, mm -hmm. but I believe you raised six to children. Yeah, I got six in, yeah, six and, in my house. And yeah. Albert was the youngest. He's the baby boy. Uh, he's the baby, he's baby boy. boy. Yeah. And I know when I first met Albert, he was saying, you know, my dad used to be a, a, a champion too. Yeah. And yeah. I was shocked about that when he yeah. told me. But yeah. then I connected 
uh, which the the life that you had, right? The performances that you saw, okay. and, and, and it, it all tied in, right in there, right in there. You know, yeah. and I see why we have a, a, a world champion now yeah. uh, in this world. These one, do. Yes. Yeah. One thing I want to ask, uh, and I want you to think about this okay. a little bit. Uh, what would you say? Uh, because you know it's very important with everything going on with on, yeah. you know the injustices in the world, everything. the Black Lives Matter, yeah. you know the political arena that everybody, the COVID. Uh, but one thing um, I want to ask you is, as a father, mm -hmm. which is very important, okay, to, to our families, right? Okay, what would you say the most, the three most important things that you as uh, Albert Prince Bell father? instilled in him to get him or to allow him to navigate to the position he's at now in the world. Wow. That one was big. <laughs> um, the three things that, I mean, you know. Yeah. Well, like I say, uh, you don't never really know that you're going to be a world champ and all this stuff. All this stuff come on the artifacts of the blessings. Right. But what did you instill in him as you feel as 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 he was coming up as a little boy? I guess I tried to instill, I guess what my daddy and mama instilled in me. <laughs> <laughs> the same stuff. <laughs> Take the trash out. You know what I'm saying? Make the bed up. Pick new clothes up off the floor. Discipline. Thank you, cut some grass outside too. <laughs> I got a bucket list, you right, know what I mean? Right, but right, right. I still, I mean, we you know we whatever our parents did with us, we kind right. of do with our family. That, that's you know, so that's true. About what we do. That's so true. Yeah. So it was discipline, be respectful. Yeah. All of that. You, you, you yeah. know, uh, all of that. Cause my mother's and father shot it through me. So what right. they shot through me. I don't know where to get it from, so I shoot it back out to you. Right, right. That's where we get it from. Well, I'm still I tell, from my parents. Uh, well, know? I tell you something. It's it, it's work to treat. We are yeah. we are so proud of you as a father. Uh, we are so proud of our champion, and, and thank you so very much for coming in. This Pleasure week. all right. mine. Pleasure all mine, y'all, for real. And I got a chance to meet the whole staff. Yeah, <laughs> yes. whole staff. And, and we are family here. At, at That's at all right. right. We are family. We we look after yeah. each other. So. Thank you very much. Thank uh, you. I'm going to turn you over to the maestro. Maestro. Uh, uh, Ms. Mr. Steve Barry Taylor. Maestro. <laughs> ha, ha. <laughs> hey, it's Steve Taylor here with the Taylor Community Connection. I'm here with the coach, nah, the right. man behind the, man. the chair. That's right. right. All right. All right. So one thing we want to talk about, we know all great athletes, whether it's Tom Brady, Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods, Mike Tyson, they all have coaches, right? They all got somebody in their corner mm -hmm. that helps them. Right. And usually, you know, it's those athletes that get all the recognition, they get all mm -hmm. the praise and the press. Mm -hmm. But we know there's coaches in the background that help those people right. every That's single right. day. That's correct. Give us a little bit of insight as to what you do from behind the scenes to get the champ ready for these fights. And what you do, Ooh. you know, behind the scenes stuff. Yeah. We don't want to give all your secrets away. Right. We know some of those you can't tell. Right. But what are some of the things that you think you do before the fights and just keep them getting ready for these fights? Right. Well, one time a dude told me, he said, hey, you think you need a manager? I said, I'm his manager. <laughs> he yeah. said, what you mean? I said, I manage him to get up in the morning, <laughs> time to go to the gym. How many rounds we gonna do? I got your water bottle. I got the car to take you in. So. I had to make sure everything was covered. He, he, he wasn't old enough to cover yeah. nothing, so I've been covering it pretty much all the way till now, to where he's getting grown enough to where he can pick and choose to do things. He's 20, his, his age, you know what I mean? Yeah. He can do his own thing now, so I kind of lay back. But if I see something that need to be corrected, I say, hey man, that ain't like that. That should be, you know. And Does he listen to you there. when you go in and you tell him those things? Yeah, he kind of listen, but when yeah. they get to be 27, it's another <laughs> side. <laughs> they just go, oh, go. Yeah. So you've got to get all the knowledge in before he stops listening, huh? Yeah, I got to keep pushing at it, but That's good. yeah, they get 27 and they truly their own man. Well, let's talk yeah. about discipline, because obviously mm -hmm. you, you talked about when you was young and the things yeah. you told him to do, and he, mm -hmm. he had to listen. And so it sounds like you, you brought some discipline to, yeah. to well, another like say, age. Uh, yeah, we had to we had to have discipline. You can't do this sport without discipline, because you got to go do these things. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like you can't get around them. Yeah. This is part of the training. Now, you ain't got to do it today, but you're going to do it tomorrow. I mean, but you might well get it on out the way. So how you got yeah. this young, vibrant, like he said, he's... Charismatic, mm -hmm. good-looking young fella, 26, mm -hmm. 27. Right. 
how do you keep them disciplined, staying in the gym, eating right, not going yeah. out, doing yeah. the things you shouldn't be well, doing? Well, like I said, the first time, well, he had to, he, he took a liking to the sport. Yep. He went to loving the sport. He went to loving the trophies and loving the medals and loving the us. Oh, okay. Yeah. So he likes it. That's good. Dad, you know, we're going to that tournament. We're going to that tournament. So my job is all right. He's almost doing it himself now. That's, so that's fantastic. It was kind of easy. Self-motivated. Self-motivated. That's about what it is. So you, now he's running on his own fuel. That's great. I got him going, but now he's on his own fuel. You just keep him going the right way. I try to keep him going straight, but he's going a whole another way now. It's the whole world open for him now. He's seeing stuff I ain't even seen. Dad, do you know this? Do you know this? Do not. No, I didn't know all this. <laughs> so you having fun you doing this with your son? Oh, it's a pleasure. Yeah, it's, it's a pleasure. Great. That's great. It's a pleasure. Yeah, we way up somewhere that we ain't never been. Well, I get yeah. the I get the pleasure of have, getting to work with my dad also. Right. And uh, we talk about relationships, and and it started with respect. And I can That's tell right. with your That's son, right. he obviously respects yeah. you. Yeah. You got to respect your father, and yeah. uh, but you get to have a lot of fun too when you get to work together. Yeah, we get it in. Yeah. Yeah, he's silly guy. He's silly guy. We get it in. <laughs> That's, so you got to. Do. You got to have fun. Yeah, that's my turn. Well, man, it's such an honor to have you here and your son. We've had a fun relationship, and it's so yeah. great to watch him keep rising up the ranks. He rising. Cream of the crop rise to the top. Watch him rise. We're going to keep watching. What, we, we get to see the man <laughs> behind the scenes, too, that's helping push yeah, him. Yeah, right? right. Well, thank you for coming in. It's awesome to have you here. And Pleasure all, all mine. Pleasure all mine. We look forward to more big things from you and your son. No doubt. No doubt. All right. No doubt. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.